What's good? These are the facts on LL Cool J versus DMX. Now, when LL Cool J was coming back to hip hop for the third time, he needed a new look and a new style, and he was going after the bad boy look and style, kind of. So when he gets on the Flavor In Your Ear remix, he removes his signature Kango and shows his head, signifying buying us a different LL. After this, he releases the Mr. Smith album, which does well, changing his sound from R&B more over to hardcore lyrics. Amidst this, DMX gets signed to Def Jam, and everybody is talking about how DMX is decimating MCs in the streets. LL catches wind to this and wants to meet DMX. They meet, and things seem cool, and amongst uh, Method Man and Red Man's buzz, they all do the 4321 remix, or the 4321 song. Now, LL Cool J is known for giving advice to new MCs in the game because it is said he's always looking for the new LL. But honestly, he's really just trying to be helpful for to these MCs that's coming in the game so they can have a career as long as his. DMX kind of took it as LL Cool J being big headed. Now, cannabis is starting to buzz in the streets and Def Jam wants to bring him in to get on the 4321 song because it's going to be hot for new artists. LL Cool J is cool with it and Cannabis drops his verse. Now, we all know the beef between Cannabis and LL Cool J, and I'm going to cover that later on. But during that beef, DMX was cool with Cannabis. And during Cannabis' uh, album run, when he was uh, promoting the second round KO, dissing LL Cool J, DMX was seen giving respect to Cannabis for his bars and even bobbing his head to the beat. This got back to LL Cool J and he felt sour about it. Now... DMX drops his albums and he's blowing up. LL Cool J is set to come out with an album and Def Jam decides to put DMX on the album on a song called Forget About It. Now LL Cool J got in touch with X and said he wanted, L, uh, he wanted DMX to do his verse first. Again, DMX thought that LL was being big headed so he decided to wait till everybody get on the track and then do his verse. LL thought that DMX wasn't going to do the verse because DMX didn't do it in the time that LL asked for. So then LL gets mad at Def Jam and DMX saying that they should at least said something to him or let him know something at the end of all of it. Now, it doesn't go lyrically, but they're having problems while promoting the 4321. DMX was said that he didn't really want to get in the video, but they got him there. After that, they kind of squashed the beef, citing that it was really for egos. But honestly, those two never really got along after that. Got any beefs you want me to cover? Leave them in the comments. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit share if you enjoyed this and think somebody else is going to enjoy this. And please check out the link in the, um, in the, in the description. We got, a song, uh, we got a new song out called One in the Chamber. You need to check that out. And um, yeah, until next time. Oh yeah, make sure you check out the Rap Beef playlist. Also, hybrid803.com. I'm going to need for you to leave your email address at hybrid803.com. I'll be giving out tips and all kind of stuff in the email. So, you know what I mean. Get down with me. And um, as always, until next time, what?